Evening, a uh, quick video today. Partly techie and partly wow, that's crazy. And it's about, oddly, a broken turbo. But a broken turbo that's hopefully gonna be made into probably the biggest electric supercharger ever. Cause it's capable of well over a thousand horsepower, maybe over 1200. This is what we got. It is, well, technically it's a whole set. Whole set, of course. HE, if you can see it, if we can if it focus. Not really. But it's a whole set HE 500, which is like the new age replacement for, well, HX 50, 52, 55, really. But this one, which I don't know if to scale your notice at all, but while the core, which I'll show you now, the center core is conventional HX52, HX55, as in all the parts bolt on, I've, I've tried it. And the turbine wheel is normal HX52 size, although this one is knackered, which is, as you can see, it all, basically, yeah, everything and the main part is like it's uh, HX52. All parts are interchangeable. Apart from this compressor, which is flipping massive. It's like a um, HX60 sort of size, like big. I would say it's, it is HX60 size. And this is a compressor wheel, which again is big. I think it's... Without measuring it again, it's 75 mil inducer and 115 exducer billet, as you can probably see. And yeah, it's a proper bit of kit. Um, almost, it's practically brand new. It's, you know, it's got all the part numbers and everything still. Um, I'm totally undamaged apart from the turbo wheel. But what this is, what makes this special, and probably why I've never seen one like it before, is, hopefully you can see, I don't know if you can really see, but the first letter of the turbo part number, rather than being 3.5 or 2.8 or 5.4 or whatever, like most whole sets, it starts in a V. And V code on whole sets is not production units, they're experimental units, they're prototype units, they're test units. V turbos are not publicly for sale, which probably explains why this one, part number after V is a zero, because no whole sets start with a fucking zero. They all start with a three or a five or whatever, but a zero is, no, that's not normal. And anyway, V code is all that counts. V is a prototype. Um, it has a turbo speed sensor, which, where is the hole? There. That was in it. And the way it had a small turbine that's now destroyed, I'm wondering if they was speed testing it. I don't know. I mean, the, uh, the bearings were fine. The comp wheel is like new. But this turbine um, and as the shaft is absolutely fine. But the turbine wheel itself is fucking wrecked. But I don't know. I don't know. But it's mega cool. But what makes this most interesting is this is going to another country to hopefully be made into the biggest motherfucking electric supercharger you've ever seen. As in, there's a few that exist already, but they're good for maybe 250 brake. But somebody, a friend of mine, has a, who's very clever in his own right when it comes to cars, has a very, very clever brother who lives abroad, who has already started experimenting with this kind of things and owns, is, is an electronics whiz 
and also a machining bloody expert and just everything and he is confident he can make one even with a big turbo basically um he said you supply the turbo bigger the better and um, this is big i'll probably send him the core he doesn't need the core because he'll make he's got cnc machines and everything you make a, a billet aluminium back plate to this to house, you know, to mount the motor on. But this will probably be good for measurements, so I'll send him that as well. But this, like I said, 75 mil inducer, it's, uh, it's about a 1200 brake turbo on when push hard on the right application. Um, by the sounds of it, this is at least going to become an experimental electric turbo, but I really, really hope it becomes something that works. He's very confident it will, and he knows a lot about this kind of stuff, so it's worth me just letting him have it, because I want to I wanna be a part of this. I want to have a go with it, for God's sake. So, um, yeah, exciting times ahead. And I really hope this works because electric superchargers, electric turbos, whatever you want to call them, are without a shadow of a doubt the future. Before it all goes fully electric, it's going to be things like this. Partly for torque fill, as in like anti-lag to spool up other turbos, you know, conventional turbos. Because, you know, the, you know an electric turbo is instant full boost. So, you know, perfect. And potentially, if he's correct, completely, you know, removing the need for a normal turbo. And if that's the case, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you've got insane power and torque and instant response and zero, um, you know, back pressure or anything from the turbine side. You know, the possibilities are endless. I suspect the power it takes to run it will mean not sustainable full boost for a long period. But, well, even if it's only 15 seconds, that's, <laughs> with a turbo this size, that's plenty. Because, you know, 1,000 horsepower plus for 15 seconds, you'll be at fucking 200 mile an hour. So, yeah. Watch your space, but this could be something very special. And yeah, for what it's worth, every part number on all of these parts don't tally up to anything on whole set. I'm pretty good at looking at whole set part numbers and so on, and nothing comes up for any of these, which is weird, really, because this is technically like HX 5255 core, but nothing, I'm guessing, because the machining for that wheel because there is no, you know, HX55 with a wheel that size. And 60 cores are different again, they're not interchangeable. But this is like a 60 size wheel and a 60 size compounds in on a 52 or 55 core and a 52 turbine wheel, metal. So yeah, hopefully. That gets you a bit uh, interested, excited, whatever, because I certainly am, because, you know, this guy's confident. He's not an idiot, and he's very confident. So I want to see what happens next, because just imagine that spooling up instantly on any application you want. You know, you could, you could literally grenade a lot of engines just by switching the fucking thing on, because there's going to be so much air, so much power. You could probably make just, you know, you could make an instant explosion of so many engines. But yeah, and obviously with this, he's uh, making a controller so you can control how, you know, the gradualness or whatever, how it sports. Because obviously instant full boost would be just uncontrollable for almost any vehicle. It would either break rods, break gearboxes, whatever. So yeah, you've got to have control over it. But he's got all that in hand, it seems. So um, soon enough, these parts will probably be winging their way to foreign lands. And hopefully come back as something working that we'll be seeing a lot more of on here. But we'll have to wait and see. 
Cheers then. Ta-ra.